Hello everybody, it's Adrian here and welcome to Factorio. Yes, Factorio. This is a game I've been very excited to play. I've been I've been desperately waiting to play this game for a long time once more. Uh the latest version of this game recently came out, uh point fifteen. And now I'm going to play it. Which is gonna which is just gonna be great. Um so let us immediately start just immediately by getting an iron thing ready and working so this is the map i'm going to be playing on uh this is also the spawn location as you can see by the map and this could be quite interesting probably it probably is going to be interesting to tell you the truth but still uh yes this is quite interesting. There's a water patch here. There's a, let me have a look. There's a big water patch here. There's, oh, yay for fancy new graphics. There's the couple uranium patches about. There's one here. Hmm. Holy moly, look at this. This, is, yeah. So, this is quite a good starting location, and I'm quite, yeah, this is going to get interesting very quickly. So, let's build one mining drill, and a little automator. I want an automatic setup, because I'm already going to start automating this thing. Okay, there we go. So, one does this, one does this, one does this, and now it's self-automating. So, this is a very simple machine, because um, I didn't really explain it, but basically coal goes into here, and some of it will go into this chest, while the other stuffs will go into this drill. While some of it, yeah, I think this drill has preference. Oof. That could be a problem. That's a problem. Okay, uh, let me just get another belt then. Oh, great. Everything's falling apart. Um, so, we'll do it like this instead. This will give this one preference, which is fine. Um, but it will mean we'll get more coal, which is great. So, this is our first real machine you know which is good so what do we want to do probably the first thing we want to do is increase this production so we'll want to get another set of this to just double production of iron which at the moment isn't perfect but it'll do actually while we're at it, mm -hmm. let's make this completely unnecessary and only slightly good. So we'll do it like this, 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 and this. Which for now will be pointless, but as I get more coal, this will be a bit more useful. Now the next step we possibly want to do is have a look at this cool uranium. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. Have a look at some uranium. Um, you can't mine this uranium, but look at this. Look how fancy it looks. Okay, the next thing we want to do is make my life even easier. Uh, but first we want to get uh, a mine here, and a mine here, and this. So, start getting some copper, but also getting a more automated form of stone. Stone, yes. And we also want to automate this. So, this automation will mean this will run without me 
doing a thing. It's also entirely pointless at this stage, but to really start thinking about. But it just makes my life that much easier. And we still have this final chest, which gets coal to start with. And now this system is automated. So what is the goal of this, you may or may not be asking? Well, that is quite simple, and that is to make my life easier. And the way to make my life easier is to get electricity. And to get electricity, I need a couple things, about four things. One, iron. Two, copper. Three, stone. Four, coal. Coal is the most replaceable one out of all of those. And with this system, I am getting all of those things very easily, ex except the iron. The iron's the most um, least automated of everything at the moment. And it's also the most important. But either way, we probably now have enough to... Yes, we do. We can get a boiler, a steam engine, an offshore pump, and probably an electric pole. And now, what we're going to do is design a, an electricity system that runs off coal. We're going to build a new coal plant uh, that also runs on electricity and also has belts in it. Oh my yes, we are going to make it fully automated so we don't have to do a thing. Which is what we want to do. Nothing. I think up here is it's open and it would most likely be a great place. Fit perfectly. Yes, there it does. It does fit perfectly. Boom. And boom. And insert a iron. Iron, I need so much iron for this. Um, so, this is the simple design. It's currently not producing any power, but if coal is imported, uh, let's just put a piece of wood, we get some power. Which currently is entirely pointless as we are literally not using the power for anything. It's just just moving in a very cool way. So once we get enough belts, this will lead to a coal mine with this brand new electric drill, which will provide coal for now at least for only that mine and nothing else. Yes. However, this is incredibly expensive in the resource terms. But that's okay. We'll roll with it. As I wait for me to finally get enough iron to, to finish this very long belt for what's considered the first couple minutes, especially in this video, it's edited down, but even then, it's nice to just appreciate the beauty of this very dangerous uranium that will definitely not cause problems later in life for me. Luckily this game doesn't go to later in life, it just ends sort of never, actually. So it just goes on, you know, I, I continue my life on this planet, I'm stuck here forever and ever, alone, not even with friends. All alone. Or something very morbid like that. You know, this game is actually quite morbid if you get down to it. Well, sort of. If I make it morbid, it gets very morbid. Okay, now I count it as technically done. This system now works. This thing has power. And now this thing works. This is powered. This is powered. And all of this means that it can power itself and support itself with power.
but it also means we can expand with more. Because this steam engine has a lot more capacity than what we're using. So we can use this power in a very important part, our iron production, which at the moment is heavily limited by coal. Now we can just basically move the coal to a single, technically if you think about it, we're just moving coal to a different part of the factory. Still quite useful. However, this system will still require coal, just significantly less of it. Sort of how it works. <laughs> We're just replacing... Well, eventually, if we do our stuff right, coal will only have to go to one, two to maybe four parts of this entire factory. Which would be quite nice. To tell you the truth, very nice. Mm. Actually. So I've upgraded all the inserters into... Uh, electric inserters which use the power from the steam engine and use it instead of coal uh, which is quite useful but I also have made this brand new mining drill which we will use but first I need to design something something where basically we take both these and put it into a smelting factory so I think I'm gonna place this uh, smelting area here uh, and the factory will be start in here and go down. I think that's what I want. So we'll have that. Uh, I'll get a couple more. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna design this. This can be copper. Yeah, this this will be copper. Um, copper. Uh, we have now a lot better production. We can do a lot more stuff. Oh yeah, I should have I should have got that coal before, because I was looking up here and there was like tons of coal. But this system will basically, hopefully, what I want it to do is make it so I don't need to do this anymore. Quite useful to tell you the truth, um, but that'll take some time. Now, what I'm building here is a thing that will allow me, a special belt pretty much, that makes it so I can put, for example, copper in one side of the belt and coal into another side. Which, I'm telling you right now, very useful to do. This, that's actually very important in this. Well, it's always sort of important really is to be able to split up belts. But in this early stage of the game, uh, we don't have things that can uh, split. This called splitters. Uh, splitters. We don't have splitters yet. I could probably get a splitter, but I can't be bothered because uh, I need to make a bunch of science packs, which I haven't explained yet because this is some sort of explaining it as I go. We're not going to bother with those yet, so we're just going to use the basic stuff. The basic stuff. So what I'm going to do is instead design, um, let's just say the far one is going to be coal. Yes, far. Now what I'll do is have this be the input for this one and this be the input for this one. Now while I could make this into um, a thing, into a coal insert and it'd be perfectly fine. I'm not going to do that because I can't be bothered. Um, I can't, even though I have them, I don't think it's worth it. It's just, we have the capacity now anyway. So, so now what I'm doing here is just connecting the old coal system into this new system, which is, significantly better. So what I need to do now is actually make this into a proper proper thing with electricity that produces a heck of a lot more coal. So that's good, uh, which will hopefully power these furnaces. I'll also actually hook this up. 
just to make that all nice. There will be some overlap here, actually. For now, we're not going to power everything, but we will power most of it. So, this brings the coal into here. Um, maybe this, I don't know how well this will work at the moment, but it's a start. Actually, I'm a bit stupid in this case, it would actually be better to have a slower coal inserter because then it's more of uh, an even split. Even then, actually. Hmm. Let's have a look how this works. Yeah, we'll roll with it for now. Even though it's not letting any of the coal past, once this fills up, it will let the coal past. And since copper is going to, you know, be using significantly... Hmm... It won't be using as much stuff, generally. Won't be smelting as much stuff, I should say. It'll be fine. So, let's start with something very simple. Boop, boop, and power. So, now this is actually going to be producing stuff. That's right, so now we're producing copper plates. Now we just need to replicate this. So, at the moment, coal is generally being used up. There we go, that's the first coal piece that's made it past. But this will be more efficient later on, and we'll have a proper splitter. But the best way in our very early stage to deal with it is very simple. Just make more of it. Make more coal would probably do. Um... There we go, filling up with coal, and we have a semi-working system. But I'm not going to rest until we have a fully working system, which we currently do not have. Okay, now, what I've done, as I said I'd do, I've put more coal. So now, we're making a heck of a lot more coal, we're doubling our coal. And, I'm going to take the pointlessness of this offline because it's literally pointless at this point, because we have a better coal solution. And now we have this going on. Still needs a couple bits and pieces, but it's almost done. So in this, well, what was in real time about half an hour, we already have a smelting area that is fully automated, and I count that as pretty good. It's not perfectly efficient, as you can see, but it works, so it's good enough. Um, and next episode, we are going to be starting researching things. Ooh. But until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.